YouTubers, it's Smoking S77. Coming to coming coming to you from the deck. Um another smoking video. You know it guys. So let me get this cigar cut up and let's start smoking. Smoking. This is um the housekeeping um the housekeeping uh smoking uh crumb cr crumb cigar Churchill. Anyway, let's try to light this. It's not too windy outside, but um I might just have to light it without uh, toasting it. So anyway. Almost let. Um, let me just. Um, the topic is interesting uh, today. Um, I think you'll find the topic very interesting. Okay, let me sit back. As you notice, it's all lit, so I didn't bother toasting it, just because it's um a little windy, or not windy, but just I didn't feel like it. And that's a train. So anyway. This topic I was, I wanted to do a couple days ago, but I thought it would be better just to do it, um, now, I'm not sure why, but anyway, this topic is about um the prices prices of cigars. As you know, cigars are range in price. You have the cheap ones like Black and Mild, and then you have your more expensive ones like um Padron and uh, Opus X. All those, all those cigars, and someone just sneezed inside. And tobacco got in my mouth. Somebody just sneezed again. So anyway, um, you have different prices, um, and let me just rate it, rate the price. What I'm trying to say is, um, if you go in prices, um, you'll notice, like, for example, if you pay, this is how I'm going to start off, um, if you pay under $2 for a cigar, or $2 or under for a cigar, you're probably not going to get a very good cigar. You know, you're probably talking about a cheap, machine-made cigar like uh, Swiss Sweets, Black and Mild, uh, if you want to call it a cigar. If you, if you can even call it a cigar. Um, Garcia Vega, um, Game, Phillies. Um, very cheap cigars. Occasionally, you will get handmade cigars for, um, for under $2. Um, like, uh, this cigar was a dollar seventy-five, I think. Dollar seventy-five. So, but mainly the cigars that are under two dollars are uh, machine-made cigars. It is very cold outside. Very, very cold. But anyway, um, then you have. Um, I'm going to need stages here. Then you have your cigars that are two dollars to, say, five dollars. Those cigars are a little bit better. They're like o Omar T's, uh, Karam, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, what else? Um, what else do you have that, that, that um, price? Um, Florida Olivia. And those cigars are, are handmade, but they don't have the quality that, um, like a Baccarat has, or, um, oh, also Omar T's are like that. But, um, 
for like two to five dollars, you get a good, you get a cigar. But the problem with those cigars is um, they don't take a lot of time wrapping them. Um, they're kind of like mass produced, so they have a lot of flaws. Um, you'll notice a lot of them have you know cracks, that kind of stuff. Then when you get into the five dollar to say thirteen dollar cigars, like Backrat, uh, Alec Bradley, um, Zeno, um, those cigars, um, you, you're you're getting a decent cigar. Um, those cigars will be good, and they will have what's called tra transitions. Uh, transitions are um, like the first third of the, of the cigar might be peppery and earthy. The second third might be coffee and caramel, and the third might be, I don't know, coffee, or black pepper. So, um, you're going to start getting transitions, you know, not a straightforward flavor all the way, all the way through. Um, but they, they're not complex, you know, back rice cigars have some complexity to them, but mainly... But mainly, Baccarat cigars just have a sweet, uh, nutty, woody flavor all the way through. Now, you get into your $13... Well, I meant to say, I meant to say, um, you have, like, your Ash and Age Maduros. They're pretty nice. Um, and those are about $13 at a cigar shop, uh, but $10 online. Then you have your cigars that are, um, um between fourteen dollars and say hmm let's say fourteen dollars and twenty dollars. You can get a nice cigar for fourteen dollars or twenty dollars. Like a padrone, um padrone. You can get um much what else. Uh, a nice Zeno or um even a Davidoff. I don't know. But anyway, um, those cigars have a lot of complexity to them. Once you get into the cigars that are like $14, $15, $16, $18, they have complexity to them. Padrones, for example, are very, very, very complex. Um, but they they still can get more complex. Now, we get, we get into your um, $20 to $30 cigars, like uh, Ashen uh, Virgin Sun Grown and Ashen SA Sun Grown. Um, oh, by the way, I'm drinking a couple. Of, I'm drinking a, cu a cup of coffee here. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, so yeah, SA Sun Grown ESG. Those are good cigars. And they've been aged. One of the reasons why cigars are so expensive is because they've been aged longer. The more aging in a cigar, the, the more expensive it's probably going to be. So, anyway, you have those, and those are very, very top of the line. You can get Opus X, you know, uh, Opus X um, by Fuente. You can get, um, what do you call it, uh, Padron, uh, 1926 series, which is very good. But you're still not at the top of the line. Then you have what I call your premier cigars, your novelty cigars. Um, they're like um, $30, 40 dollars, fifty, fifty dollars, you know. And those are like the 1926 ADM Padron, the latest Opus X. They're very, very expensive. Um, the question now becomes: when you get into like thirty dollars, forty dollars for cigars. Are they worth it? You know, is paying thirty dollars for a cigar worth it? Um, myself, I've paid on two occasions th thirty or more dollars for a cigar. I had uh, the Zeno Platinum Crown Series Chubby Special, and I had the Padron 19 1926 80 year Maduro. Both of those are thirty plus dollars, and I gotta say, both of those are very good. Both of those are are in my top, you know, five in terms of cigars I smoked. But are they worth it? So, 
then you get into your really, 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 really expensive cigars. If, you know, like, fifty dollar. I call them $50 plus cigars. Like, um, I think Gurker has a couple ones, uh, Fuente has a couple ones, and Davidoff, maybe. Um, they're just like, you know, $100, $200, $300, just like ridiculously expensive. And that's where you really draw the line, and you say, are they worth it? And I wonder, are they worth it? Myself, I would never spend, um, more than 30 or $40 on a cigar, period. There are some people out there who would, um, spend, um, you know, $100 on a cigar, but I personally wouldn't. Um, I have a friend, uh, who actually, li who actually lives very close to me, um, but I'll let him remain anonymous. Um, he, uh, bought a cigar at a golf club. Uh, because of, like, smoking cigars and golfing together. He bought a cigar that was, um, $96. Yeah, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Uh, my, my tobacconist, um, bought a cigar that was a Cuban, uh, pre-embargo Cuban. That was $56, I think. So, but are they worth it? That's the real question I'm asking you guys. Are expensive cigars worth it? You know, give me your thoughts. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Peace out, bye. See you guys later.